have you ever asked yourself, what's the best rolling laptop bag? Would you like to hear a non-sponsored review from someone who's had over 6,000 one-on-one coffee meetings? Stay tuned while I review three rolling laptop bags plus one surprise at the end coming up. Okay, everybody, let's get right into the review of the four bags I want to show you today. So those of you who don't know me that well, my name is Rick Silva again. I've had over 6,000 one-on-one coffee meetings and I facilitated about a thousand networking groups. And this is the bag that I've used for 14 years and I've probably taken this bag to maybe 900 of those meetings. So I wanna review this bag first. This is a Samsonite bag, it's a rolling bag. It's hands down the best bag ever made. Now, again, I'm gonna review four bags because this is not a bag that I use for carrying a laptop, even though it's a laptop rolling bag. Uh, I use this one primarily for paperwork when facilitating meetings. So let's get right into it. The most important uh, components you wanna look at when you're reviewing a bag is number one, you want to have a very good handle, a very strong handle. And what's unique about this handle, if you can see it, I'm gonna flip it around here, is there are screws in the handle. The, the, the number one thing that breaks is the handle. Number one, I would never pick up a bag by the handle. It has a handle right here for it. Steel reinforced with steel rivets in it. Okay, but number one thing, you wanna have a really good handle and it does zip for flying. Uh, the second most important component of any rolling bag are the wheels. And these wheels, I'm going to bring in real close. Again, a thousand meetings, let's say 900 to a thousand meetings, and these wheels can go another 10 years. <clears throat> it's got very, very nice protection, very hard plastic. This bag, if you look at it, I've had this bag at least 13 years and it looks like brand new. Okay, so real quick, again, we're, we're going to review four bags. I'm going to go fairly quickly. Nice big pouch here. Again, it's a Samsonite bag. You can get this bag anywhere. Oh, and also the other important thing, the quality of the zippers. So in here, we have a, we have a mesh pouch here. I have hundreds of pens in here I've collected over the years. It holds business cards right here. Another mesh pouch. Another pouch here. Another pouch here. And another pouch here. Okay, in here, more pouches. This is where I keep my business cards for both of my businesses here. Has a cool little uh, key ring holder here if you wanna keep your keys stored in your bag. Really nice, tons of storage. We have uh, many more pouches in this bag. We have another pouch with another giant uh, storage, giant storage here. And then two more pockets here. Again, this is a rolling bag primarily for a laptop, though I don't use it for a laptop. We have another storage here, giant storage, with three more pouches here. Two, three. I, I keep pens in here, but you can keep whatever you want, but it's beautiful right in here. Working our way back, you can see all the different zippers, very high quality zippers, very strong, reinforced handle. We'll go to the last pouch here. Giant area for file folders, file folders, file folders. You can put your laptop here in this one back here, or if we move forward, you can put your laptop in here, either one. And then it does have, the handle is protected and it zips away for travel. You can just zip it up. Okay, so this is a Samsonite rolling bag, unbelievable bag. We're gonna work our way up to the next bag. This is Swiss Army bag. This is, this is the prettiest bag I own. This bag is just unbelievably attractive. So we'll go over this one. Great handle, and again, I'll bring it in so you can see. It has screws, very important. This is the weak spot of a bag. Also, great tires, bolted in, reinforced plastic, and it also has the Velcro strap so you can slide it on your luggage when you're traveling. You slide it down the handle of your luggage, okay? So we'll go through this one. Not unlike the other one, has an awesome clip here. Keys, if you'd like. I have a pencil right here. Tons of pouches, business cards. There's 
tons and tons and tons of storage, all kinds of different pen holders. That's the front pouch. Has a cool hidden one right here for more storage. You can see I could fit my entire hand in here. Uh, if you're traveling, you put your passport in here, your boarding passes, things like that right in here. The next one, this is a pouch that's fully padded. You certainly can put your laptop right here if you'd like. It also has a strap here so you can Velcro your laptop in here and it holds it in, okay? File folders, all that good stuff, tons of storage in here. Working our way back. The handle doesn't have as much reinforcement. It has plastic rivets where the Samsonite has metal rivets. One of the positives of this bag, it, it's just really attractive when you're going into a business meeting Someone sees this bag, they know you mean business. This is a great bag. It's really pretty. Back here, this is, you can use this as an overnight bag. So you have pouches here. You can put shirts here, strap it in. It has really nice hinges so it doesn't completely fall apart. It has another strap. So you can put shirts, uh, a shirt, pair of pants, socks, underwear, and shoes. And this will be no problem traveling for, uh, for a one day business trip with this bag. It's a great bag. I put a 15 inch laptop here when I do travel with a laptop. And then it has the handle and it zips away for travel. And then it also does have the slip so you can run it down your, your, your larger luggage and you can travel with this. Great bag, really pretty Swiss army bag. Very nice bag, 15 inch laptop. The previous bag also holds a 15 inch laptop. Now we're gonna go, we have two more bags. Now I'm gonna show you the biggest bag I own and then we're gonna show you what I think is the best bag ever made. Okay, this bag is called the Solo New York MacDougall Rolling Laptop Bag. There it is right on my phone and I'll, I'll put a picture of it for you. But there it is. It's called this, it's made by Solo. It's called the New York McDougal Rolling Laptop Bag for 17.3 inch laptops. If you have a 17 inch laptop, it will not fit in those other bags. I wanna show you uh, in detail how big this bag is, okay? So I'm gonna open this up and show you this first. I wanna show you the size of the laptop that I have in here. This is the largest laptop I know of that you can get. This is an Asus laptop. This is giant. It's a giant gaming laptop. And I want to give you the measurements real quick on it. So the screen, the screen, it says 17 inches, but the entire monitor itself is 19 inches. The laptop itself, when closed, is 20 and a half inches. This is a giant, it's the biggest laptop I've ever owned. And you take it and you slide it in. And it is a tight fit. This is a giant laptop. I push it, I put it in and I push it to the back and then it zips right up. I wanna show you the bag now, but I don't wanna show you the bag with the giant laptop in it. So I'm gonna take this laptop out. Once again, screws reinforce the handle. And this entire handle zips away. And by the way, you can put storage in where the handle is. The other bags, you cannot do that, but this one has storage. Lock it away, zip it up. There we go, so the handle's tucked away. This one's unique, it has a split handle design. It has handles on both sides of the bag. All the other ones, the handle is built right into the top. This has a split handle design, reinforced with steel rivets, both sides. Where this one's not quite as durable as the other two bags, the zippers are leather. They're not quite as strong, but it's still a really, really, really good bag. So we're gonna start at the front, classic design in here, business cards, you can put your pens, basic office supplies in this front pouch. Really soft, really soft leather. The other ones are uh, a really sturdy canvas. This one is a, is a nice, it's probably not all real leather, but it certainly feels like it, maybe it is. The next pouch, huge storage. I mean, they, this is a, called a tablet or a reader storage compartment, fully padded. This is fully padded inside here. Tons and tons and tons of storage. Really big, I mean, this is giant in here. Again, this is a large bag, not as much storage as some of the other ones. They recommend putting, you can put your laptop in, in, the, in the center portion, but you can't fit that monster that I just showed you. Okay, so here's the back, the back portion. This is where the laptop goes. Fully padded all the way around. 
and this is where I put that giant laptop. Okay, so great bag, solo bag. Again, it's called the Solo New York MacDougall Rolling Laptop Bag. Now we're gonna move on to, to my opinion of the single best bag ever made for having coffee meetings. I've probably had maybe two or 300 coffee meetings with this bag. I wanna give you the exact name of it and we'll go over it. It's by eBags. It's called the Professional Weekender. They also have the Slim. I'm not as big a fan as the Slim because I wanted more storage. So this is the Professional Weekender by eBags. There it is right there. It has so many compartments and so many features. It's gonna take me a few minutes to go over this bag. I did not prep this bag before this video. I'm going to show you everything that I carry. I always laugh and say I'm a walking uh, office supply company. So let's go over it. This is a great travel bag. If you're going to have coffee meetings, you're going to travel. It's just unbelievable. So here, this front pouch here, right here in the very front. I've traveled all over the world with this bag. I've been to maybe nine or ten countries. I've had this bag, I don't even know on how many... Uh, 100 flights. So this pouch is primarily for your boarding pass, passport. I'll put energy bars in here. I have my earbuds in here. When I travel, this is where my passport and my boarding pass goes so I can get to it quickly. I'm, I'm getting ready to get on the plane, reach in, pull it out, done. So that's this one. That's this outside pouch. This one, now if I open it up all the way, a whole bunch of stuff's gonna fall out, but I wanna show you what I carry. So this is it. And if we go over these pouches, I carry lots of napkins. I carry batteries and extra headphones depending on what I'm using. I, I like to have a lot of headphones. I have an extra insert for my pen. I have paper clips, just a bag that I have all kinds of accessories in. I have tons of napkins. I have always like to have extra highlighter pens, extra batteries. Up here, I have a pen and I have a highlighter pen. Over here again, business cards, zip up pouches, to help you keep, keep from losing anything. I have another zip up pouch down here where I keep batteries and those two batteries I just showed you should be right there. We're gonna zip that up. We have another zip up pouch here. I always carry uh, note cards. If I have ideas, I write them down really quick. Another pouch here. We have another zip up pouch back here. I keep a big giant paper clip in there. And another pouch back here I have an eraser and I have some pencils in there. So just unbelievable. We haven't even begun with this bag yet. The features that this bag has, unbelievable. So before we work our way back in the bag, I wanna come down here to this pouch down here. And I'm gonna open this up. And I, I first wanna show you how big this is, how big this, this area is. Okay. What I keep in there are my, my headphones and cables. And these are, these are, just to give you an example, these are Beats headphones. Just to show you how big this pouch is, I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna zip it up, and it's right there. Okay, so now, this is cool for quick access to a pouch that I'm gonna show you uh, in a little while. But this is just a, a, it's quick access to get your iPad out. It's right here in the front, it's right here. It doesn't open up any farther, it's just quick access to pull your iPad out. Again, I didn't prepare this bag, so I gotta be careful opening up that nothing comes flying out. This is for, for certain airlines, it's, it even says right here, travel century approved. If you have to lay your bag out and run it through security, you just lay the bag out. You can also put clothing in here if you'd like. I have a towel in here and I'm gonna explain why. So let me zip this back up. Also, real quick, before I zip it back up, when you have it fully opened, you have another zipper here where you can get into this area. This is where I put paperwork that I don't want flying around. I put it right here. I'm gonna zip this up and I'm gonna zip up the entire bag and I'll work my way back because this bag has a lot more features. So let me zip this up. And then we're gonna work our way back to the next and zipper in the back. And it does a, it does a half zip. So this side doesn't open over here, just this side. This is where I keep, I have a mouse pad right here I keep in there and I keep my mouse right in here, right in here. And then right here, I have an extension cord because when you're having coffee meetings, a lot of times you're not gonna be close enough to a plug to keep your computer uh, charged up. So I always carry uh, an extension cord and I'm gonna guess just in the last week, I've probably let three or four people borrow this who couldn't uh, get to a plug 
and or today I was in a, a I was in a coffee shop and the guy was using both plugs. So I plugged this extension cord in, and it, it gave us three plugs. So I unplugged one of his components. I plugged this cable in, and then we were able to share my extension cord. So if you're having coffee meetings or any kind of public meetings, you got to have an extension cord. Okay. Also, sometimes coffee shops get really cold and guess what i'm follically challenged so i carry a scarf everywhere i go even in the summer i carry a scarf and a hat because you never know and it gets cold in some of these coffee shops okay now i want to go back and not unzip the bag all the way just want to zip it down this far and again, I had told you there's a towel in here. Now, this bag is pretty well protected, but what I'm doing is I'm sliding this laptop, and this is a large laptop also, so I'm gonna give you the measurements on this laptop real quick. The viewable screen on this laptop is 17 inches. The entire monitor is 19. It's a little smaller than the other one, but the viewable area is about the same. It's 20 inches. So just to give you an example, this is a very large laptop and it slides right down inside and we zip it up, no problem, right there. We have, a, we have a 19 inch laptop in this bag, but there's more. Here's the carry handle and it, it, when you pull it, it comes out and then it sinks back in. Very cool handle. I'm gonna flip this around and show you some <clears throat> unbelievable features about this bag. So if you have components or if you have something that's fragile, this is very cool. So we have another pouch and if you listen, it's a hard case. So when you drop products, whatever you're putting down in here, it actually slides down and sits on top of this hard case. So you have great protection inside the bag. It also helps the bag be more uh, sturdy. You can remove it, though I never have, and I never will. It's just really deep storage inside the back side of the bag. So let's zip this back up. And I wanna go over the, the cushion here. Again, I've carried this bag probably weighing 30 pounds all throughout airports on my back. Very nice padding here and here. And then I wanna go over these straps. So I wanna show you something really cool about these straps. These straps are removable. You just push this button and it lifts up the strap. You push this button and it lifts up the strap. Then you can take this, take these straps off and you slide it in here. And you take this strap off and you slide it in here and then you zip it up the straps are gone you can carry the bag like this or you can turn it sideways and there's a bag there's a handle on the side so you can carry it like a briefcase so there's a handle right here to carry it like a briefcase and then there's a handle on top very very cool so you want to use the backpack straps, pull them out. Clip them back on. You're back in business as a backpack. I cannot tell you how cool this bag is. It's the best bag in the world. I, I can't recommend this bag enough. Missed one thing right here, hidden. It's so hidden I forgot about it. Open it up and it holds a water bottle. Pair this, I didn't even realize I had a bottle sitting here, but there's a water bottle right there. Holds a water bottle. Really, really, really cool. If you don't have a water bottle, you just zip it up and it disappears and you can't even see it. Two more things I wanna go over with you since I am calling this the Networkers Toolkit. This is my networking toolkit. I wanna to go over two more things with you. My favorite pen, I have 20 or 30 of these pens. This is called a Lamy. It's a handmade German pen. Unbelievable. It feels so good in the hand. I'm left-handed. Um, I can't recommend enough a Lamy pen. That, and then this last thing I wanna show you. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled P-A-D I-K-E, it's right there, P-A-D-I-K-E. And it's a business card holder, and I'm gonna show it to you real quick. My friend Josh had this in one of my networking meetings and I saw it and I ordered it during the meeting, so this is it. Beautiful stitching, beautiful color. Uh, I think it comes in six different colors. 
business card holder. There's a business card right there. And it has a magnetic keep right here for $6. I can't recommend it enough. Just put it in your pocket, put it in your purse, put it in your, in your car, put it in your networker's toolkit. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a networker's toolkit. If you're gonna be a professional networker and you're gonna go out there and have coffee meetings, you gotta have good bags. I hope this helped. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs>